a death of, of someone so close to you that has been there for you and, and you know, was a major support in my, in my sobriety, um, it made me, it brought a lot of awareness to the fact that this disease does not care who you are. From, from that first pill, it took me about three and a half years to, to get bad enough to where my friends noticed and took it to my parents and they knew for one day and then they had me in, in a, a detox. And it, it really did. It caught both my mom and my dad by, by surprise because they, they just assumed that I didn't really drink or I didn't really smoke. Uh, and when they found out exactly what I was doing, they were devastated absolutely devastated. They didn't raise me to be like that. It was wake up and get uh, as many substances as possible in my body before I could even get out of bed. Um, from there, it was just my day revolved around finding more. I don't care what it was. As long as I had more of it, you know, or at least uh, oh, finding a way to obtain more, I was content all day. What Ventura Recovery Center did is, is they, they set all the, the, the tools at my feet and said, here, if you want to get better, you're going to follow this. And I was, I was so beaten down and had burned so much stuff to the ground that I just you know, that's where I found the willingness. I'm like, I'm sitting here saying I can, I can do this by myself and get out and, you know, try and manage this thing or I can just try it. And that's what I did. Now, my whole life is just, you know, just doing things to be happy. It has nothing to do with material things, uh, you know, where I live, who I know. And, and it's, it's just a much easier life. Thank you.